how are you? Thanks for having Great. me on today. Absolutely. This is Kat Murty, and um, we met uh, and we're on a panel together uh, at the Students for Sensible Drug Policy Conference. And she is a very popular the, uh, head of that organization, yeah. right? We had also uh, works for the Cato Institute, very smart lady and um, very principled. And we had a great time. In fact, our talk was rated one of the highest at the conference. So um, anyway, great, great to see you again. Great to see you, Lynn. Uh, thanks for coming out for that conference. Uh, like you said, it was one of the most popular at the uh, conference. We had a mm -hmm. packed room full of student activists from all over the world. Uh, we had folks watching. And the reason for that is that this is such a compelling story. Uh, what I said that day, um, and, and I still stand by, is of course this is an issue about drug policy and about criminal justice, but it's about way more than that. Uh, more so than anything else, I really think that Ross's case um, amplifies this new frontier of the drug war as it's going digital. And I think that it's very important that we watch closely what's happening now and work hard to make sure that we don't allow... Um, precedent to be set in a very dangerous way right there. That's really true. There's a lot of precedent being set in this case, and um, it's very serious. And with a high-profile case like this, it'll trickle down into other um, torts and become law, the way widespread law. And um, so absolutely, absolutely. It, it's a lot more than about a website or a man or uh, even the drug war, which is huge. There's other implications as well, so you're absolutely right. Yeah, the, dr the drug war, of course, is uh, one of the biggest problems at, in America right yes. today, where one of the largest incarcerators, a lot of those folks are going to prison because of nonviolent drug offenses. And if you look at Ross's case, we've looked at, it's something very similar. Here's a man convicted on no violent offenses, didn't even go to trial for any violent offenses. No. And in less than three hours, a jury comes back with a life sentence with no chance at parole. We're putting away people who aren't a threat, who aren't frightening. I mean, if you look at some of the stuff that Ross even wrote and said about um, some of his inspiration when he was thinking about starting uh, the Silk Road, it was all about taking the violence out of uh, the black market drug system. Of course, most of the problems that we see with drugs are actually because they're illegal not because of the drugs themselves. And a huge chunk of that is the violence associated with drugs. Mm -hmm. And uh, what Ross was really trying to do with Silk Road was remove all of those um, impediments, remove the gang violence, remove uh, the crime that surrounds drugs, and uh, really make it a safer voluntary exchange for individuals. Um, and we saw some very nice side benefits of that with the community that evolved around uh, Silk Road and the ability uh, for folks to exchange information about sellers or vendors and um, things like that. We had a less likelihood of folks getting a product that was different than what they were expecting. Uh, there was some strong, um, definitely some strong TOS requirements for folks who were participating in that community. And uh, we take something that is a harm-reducing measure like this, turn it around, they made it into a huge, you know, really um, blown-up case. We were talking about things like um, the rumors of uh, Ross, um, Ross paying to have people tried to be killed. Now, if you look at the fact, they used that to get him a his sentence. They used that in sentencing, but he wasn't charged with it. He wasn't. He wasn't charged with it. He wasn't tried for it. The prosecutor is on record saying that he doesn't think that there was any murders that came out of this whatsoever. No. And and yet, here we go, shutting someone up for life without possibility of parole. And that's very dangerous. Absolutely. I I think it was very obvious they needed their trophy. And right. really I don't think that the the whole case is about drugs at all. Um, I think it's really more about an alternative currency and um, tour. Uh, because the other uh, drug offenders in uh, the Silk Road case, the biggest drug dealer on Silk Road got 10 years. The biggest um, heroin and um, cocaine dealer got five years. And just recently, one of the biggest meth dealers got three years. So it's obviously not about drugs. But they're absolutely. I think they took something that uh, was a sexy drug, hook you know, for them. Yeah, we're doubling down on the drug war, and mm -hmm. um, 
it's sensationalistic and all of that, but um, it's about, and of I course mean, the drug war itself good. isn't about drugs, in my mind. It's about government expansion and intrusion and making money Absolutely. in the prisons. So um, Absolutely. If we actually wanted to cut down on the number of people using drugs, and if we wanted to make right. drug use safer and cut down on overdoses and cut down around violence around drugs and uh, all of the other associated problems, people not being able to get jobs, people getting locked into low-income communities, all of that those are all very clearly not just side effects, but actual effects of the drug war. Um, so no, obviously it's not actually about that. If we wanted to fix those problems, there's a clear pathway to that and it's legalization. And legalization is popular enough that, uh, you know, 2014, before we even had this nice sweep this past election with um, eight different states liberalizing the marijuana laws um, on the ballot, even before that, 2014, we have six in 10 Americans saying that they, they no longer believe that people arrested for cocaine or heroin possession should, uh, should be facing the criminal justice system. Um, the vast majority of Americans believe that marijuana should be legalized. We have people all across um, the political spectrum who are coming out and saying the drug war is a terrible idea. It's hurt a lot of people and we want to change that. And in the face of all of that, the fact that you're still able to turn around and crack down on this website, it's not about the drugs. Mm -hmm. uh, this is very clearly about setting a precedent um, for some very questionable, questionable legal strategies. Um, and when you look at some of the details of the case, we're not even sure who Dread Pirate Roberts was. It does look as if there's multiple people logging in using that account. Uh, this is on the Tor network, which makes it hard to trace. You're looking at issues where, um, you know, they're snatching Ross's computer from him and then making sure they don't close it because uh, then there would be my, many more issues and taking uh, video proof that they're not closing the computer, that the computer is staying unlocked the whole time uh, just so that they can access that information, get the screenshots and things. Um, you know, without having to go through the same legal channels that they would otherwise. And I think that that's very concerning. Um, you know, I'm wearing my uh, free Ross yes, t-shirt you gave me here uh, <laughs> yeah. last time we met. And, um, you know, it says on here that this case, it doesn't say anything about drugs. What it does talk about is internet freedom, privacy, and justice. And I think that that's really what is at the, the core of this case. Mm -hmm. Well... Anybody who, who had any sense, if it was really about drugs, after you spend a trillion dollars in over 40 years and people are still using drugs, I'd say maybe another strategy is in order if it's really about drugs. Um, right, and if we and look at, if we look at places like Portugal, uh, if you look right. at places like Portugal where they've uh, liberalized, um, they liberalized all of their drug laws, um, decriminalized drugs back in the 90s, uh, look at the way that drug use has fallen, drug abuse has fallen, mm -hmm. rates of addiction have fallen, mm -hmm. overdoses mm -hmm. fallen. Uh, you you compare someplace like uh, the Netherlands, which um, has a decriminalized access to marijuana, uh, uh, mushrooms, and other things like that. Compare those usage rates amongst teenagers to teenagers in the U.S. Uh, you mm -hmm. can look at uh, states here in um, in the U.S. that have liberalized their marijuana laws and look at uh, the ways in which people are using it, particularly uh, young people. And it's very clear that these drug policies are the core of the problem. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we've just reached a point where it's very politically convenient for folks to... Uh, have uh, have these laws uh, to blame on it. And there's this whole unfortunate gray market coming from various different directions uh, that's benefiting from the drug war. Yeah, and it was explained to me, you know, if it was just another commodity like coffee or flour or sugar, mm -hmm. there wouldn't be these enormous profits and attract Absolutely. real criminals, people who really are drug kingpins and violent and um, people get killed. Marijuana is a plant. Um, it's frequently called weed, as you've probably heard, <laughs> because it really will grow like a weed. Of course, uh, if you're looking at specialty medical strains, there's a lot of time and effort to make it just perfect, make the right one. But it is fundamentally still, it's just a plant. It just grows out there. And if you had a joint that was made of tea leaves, if we treated marijuana like we treat tea, which is another psychoactive substance that, we, that a lot of Americans enjoy consuming, 
um, that would be about 10 cents a joint versus now when you're looking at the prices that people are paying. Yeah, obviously there are some uh, economic factors in play because of the black market. Right. Exactly. Yep, it all makes sense. It's a black market there. And when we allow the free market to roll, we find more freedom, we find more peace and much more stability. Mm -hmm. Very important. Right. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, that really was at the core of uh, Ross's ideology as well, I believe. You know, he was very influenced um, from what I understand by Mises and Hayek mm -hmm. and other free marketers. And uh, I had a great quote that I've saved here. Let me see if I can find it. Um, that he'd, uh, he'd said when he was talking about uh, the creation of Silk Road early on, um, I'm creating an economic simulation to give people a first-hand experience of what it would be like to live in a world without the systemic use of force. Or how he described it on uh, Silk Road on his LinkedIn was that he was using economic theory as a means to abolish the use of coercion and aggression against mankind. What we're talking about here is an attempt to make the world a freer, safer place for people to engage in voluntary transactions in a manner in which uh, they would be able to share information. When you're looking at something like Silk Road, think about if you buy something on Amazon.com, one of the first, I buy everything on Amazon.com, and one of the reasons that I do so is I can scroll down and read the reviews and read what other people have said about that seller and about that product. Um, and the difference between doing that and having to buy something in a back alley transaction from someone you've never known or seen, who's probably, um, mm -hmm involved with cartels and other such dangerous things. I mean, just yeah. look at the difference there. Obviously, right. one of these is going to be a safer, uh, more peaceful method. Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, if you go to Free Ross and then click on the Shop at Amazon uh, link, that can help us. Yes, of course. Um, <laughs> I do encourage you to donate. Uh, um, no, I mean, at no cost to you. You just get, anyway, get online that way. But anyway, thank you so much for coming, Kat, and for everything you do. It's, it's yeah, so thank important. You. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you so much for having me here and for bringing together all of these amazing people yeah, talking about these ideas people. today. Yeah. Thank you. Very good. Bye.